how to create split screens like this in Adobe Rush. Stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Claudio and welcome to my channel. So glad that you're here. If this is your first time checking out this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, thank you as well. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to share with you today how to create split screen effect like this in Adobe Rush. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start by creating a new project and import the video clips as well as the overlay. I have them here in a folder. I have seven video clips as well as the overlay, which I will have in the description below if you're interested in using that. It'll be a template. You can change the color if you want. And I'll bring all seven video clips. Again, I may not end up using them all, but let's go ahead and add those all. Let me go ahead and name this project. Just call it Split Screen Concert. And down here at the bottom, the Sync with Creative Cloud. I'll leave that unchecked for now. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to upload to the cloud. So uh, I like leaving that unchecked until I'm done with the project and then I'll sync it later. And then you can also copy media to your device. It'll kind of save it in the same place in case you delete it from its original place. So we'll click create now and let Adobe Rush prepare the media or should I say the video clip as well as the overlay. As you can see here, it's all in one layer as well as the overlay here at the end. I'm going to expand all the layers by clicking on this bottom left button. I can see all four layers as well as all three layers of audio that are available. I'm going to click on the overlay and drag that to the very top most layer here. And let me extend that a ways. I may not use that entire length there, but right now off the bat, this is an actual different type of effect you can do. You can just kind of keep that. I'll go ahead and hit play so you can kind of see. Kind of creates a cool effect right there. You can do that. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, then pretty much you can skip to the end of this video and you're pretty much done. But if you want to see kind of something else that you can do with this and continue watching. Now, what I'm going to do is drag these other clips and stack that there and I will stack this one there. So I have one, two, three videos stacked here. Now you can't see through because obviously this one is covering up that one. And this is where we're going to kind of get customized uh, videos here. So what I'll do now is with this top video click, I'm going to come over here to the transform button and down here on the very bottom, there is an advanced option. I don't know why I said it that way, but advanced. And then what you can do is you can crop that video from left to right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reposition it horizontally, kind of like that right there. Maybe I can see a couple of hands there, maybe about right there. And now what I'll do is I will crop from the right. So basically, as you can see right there, as I move this slider, its percentages are kind of increasing, making that clip shorter, I should say less visible there. So when I hit play now, let me go and back this up. Now you're seeing all those three video clips playing at the same time. Very cool effect there. Very neat. Now you could always alter this if you don't like the way it looks, but just kind of letting you know. Now in the middle here, what I'm going to do is the same thing. Make sure you select that clip there. And now for this one, what I'm going to do is actually just start uh, cropping from the right again. As you can see, there it comes. Now, what I want to do as well is I do want to crop it from the left here. So I will make this left uh, button here, that eyeball, basically I'm making this hidden, this layer here. And now when I size this, I can move this over and I'm doing that just in case I decide to move those to a different section. So now I can make it visible again and uh, very cool, very cool effect. Now the very last one, I'm going to do the same thing. And now it is a clip of someone playing drums. So you can barely see that. So what I want to do is actually move it horizontally. Oops. Make sure I select the right one there and move that. So you can kind of see that hi-hat right there. Very cool effect there. And then what I'm going to do is going to, let's see, make this the same thing. Let's make that hidden and we're going to crop that right there. And then from the left, we don't have to because it's pretty much already on the edge. Let's make this visible again. And what I'll do here is I'm going to 
cut these, or I should say trim these. So one, two, oh, I want to be right about that same spot. And even if I mess up, that's fine. I'll do that. And this one will be deleted. This one will be deleted. And this, what I'll do is just make sure and expand it so it matches there. And usually it should just snap right there. And boom, there we go. Got that effect. We've got some music. There we go. We got the concert. Now what you could do, that's about seven seconds. Uh, you could trim it and move it around, but I'll just leave it the way it is. And now what I'll do is shift these around is uh, I'll actually leave the, uh, actually, I think I'll delete that drum or I'll just move it out here. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete that. Now what I have is kind of another instrument here and I'll do the same thing for this one. I think I will crop from the left. Whoops. I uh, don't want to crop the layer up there. I'm going to crop this right here. So we're going left and there's nothing behind it because it's at the very bottom of the layers and we'll do the same thing here crop it over and uh, now what i'll do is i'll grab this video clip and we'll drag that right there looks like we've got some musicians there and we'll do the same thing we're going to crop from the right now the guitar is kind of visible there and then let's have the singer and the singer is at the topmost layer so we're going to actually, I think what I may do is I'm going to leave him in the middle. So let's go ahead and trim from the left and let's trim from the right. And what we'll do with this instrument here is we will slide the guitar. And actually, I don't like the way that disappeared over there on the left. And so let's go ahead and make a, eh, I'll leave it. No worries. Uh, let's move this layer here. We're going to reposition that right there. So notice how I already cropped it. So it's kind of already set up and we'll do the same thing here. We will grab, actually, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, all three and click the scissors. So now they're all trimmed. I can delete all of those that are selected and uh, boom, there we go. Let me drag this back. Now it's only about a 14 second clip, but let me go ahead and play it through. So you can kind of see, oh, so drag it a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, there we go. And to make it more, I think what I'll do here, to make it uh, more dynamic is I'm going to trim right here in the middle of these. So it kind of alternates between the two. I'll trim these, I'll grab these and bring them over here to the end. Should be able to, hold on. Uh, I might have to do them one at a time. There we go. And then we've got the singer here in the middle and then it kind of reverses back, kind of like a live camera kind of switching, kind of give that effect. So here we go. Let's hit play. Got the concert going, but bam, bam, the drummer playing. And then we've got the singer there and let's go ahead and make this just the, let's make this shorter. There we go. And let's go ahead and play that again. Slide this here, hit play. And now it switches back to the original scene. You, again, what you could do here is you can position this in a different spot. So the symbols again are a different spot. Or what you could do here is, you know, hide these right here. And then whoop, I don't want to hide these. And actually what I'll do is maybe drag this over here and drag this over here and then like i mentioned earlier you can go ahead and go back to the you know the complete shot like that right there and kind of get creative with your video shot so you got that split screen at the top it's just going through it's changing up bam it's going to that then it split screens that you know and you can you can do the same thing here you know let's let's uh expand this back let's bring it all back position it back and uh, kind of cool, you know, change it up, do that. And then you can come back to some more split screen stuff. But basically that is the concept. What you're doing is you're cropping them, removing them and keeping that overlay. So creating kind of that split screen effect. 
Now, I don't have any audio for here, but I can go ahead and click on the plus sign to add audio so we can make this seem real. I may do that a little bit later, add an audio track and share it on social as um, kind of an announcement to this YouTube tutorial. And that's how to create the split screen effect in Adobe Rush. If you have any comments or questions, please do drop it in the comments. Also, if you create the split screen effect video, please do let me know. Tag me in the comments or tag me on social as well. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, and please do share this video with others. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace.